this is Prince of Somnia, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Last time, we got started here on Chapter 4, um, and in this episode, I'm gonna go around, uh, go around, there, there goes my, uh, Japanese L&R mix-ups again. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go around and start collecting some treasure boxes that I didn't get, uh, in the last episode. Before we move on with the plot, you know. This is mostly because I just found a treasure list for the area and decided that I kind of felt like looking for stuff, I guess. Uh, let's see... this way. So yeah, the town music now sounds a lot more somber than it did before. Almost sad, to be honest, but I mean, I guess in some ways it is kind of sad since our previous way of life here in Tasmania is gone now. Everything's been replaced by this era of money, or whatever you want to call it. Makes it look like every other Mother game, though. Let's see... Somewhere in the inn... There's Trivia Card 1. Now, those Trivia Cards are... Actually, I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure what they're for. I know you can use them on pig mask enemies or other human type enemies to ask them like a question about something or other and if either you or they get it right it does something or gives you some kind of reward I, I really don't know much about what the trivia cards actually do but I get the feeling that they're not important so I'm just gonna give them to the item check guy no need to have them clutter around in my inventory To be honest, I don't even know why they exist. The thunder bomb that's behind Wes's old house, it restocks every time you go back to the crossroads over here, so if you want to grab a whole bunch of them, probably want to do that right about now. Uh, I think I'll go and grab one just now, just because I can, actually. And then I'm going to head over to the uh, east. Did I say east? I mean west. East? I thought you said weast. What kind of compass are you reading, Patrick? This one, sir. That's west. You're fired again. See, I can make references that everyone can understand. Or get. Anyway, over this way. Let's see, we've got the charred remains of Reggie's hut. So did we have police officers in this town? Hmm. Did they actually? Oh. Heh. <laughs> anyway, over on the beach you can find these weird dof dolphin off oscal things. They do nothing except sell for like 5 DP. Yeah, there's really no point to that, but I don't know. It's a cool rhythm, if nothing else. I don't know. I, I can't explain what that was all about. Just finding a random reggae rhythm in a box. Okay. This is the beach area. There's really nothing we can do here right now except collect dolphin ossicles. And... I guess talk to people, but we'll be back here later, so I think I'll just refrain from hanging out here for too long. It's got nice music, if nothing else, but there's really nothing we need over there anyway, so... Let's see... Up... Where are we going now? Oh, right, we're gonna go this way. Oh, and you might have noticed, uh, Letter is just gone. Nobody knows where he is, I guess, or nobody cares to think about that. Artificial lightning. Yeah, right. But... Uh, well, that's your own damn fault, dude. Anyway, we want to go back into the Sunshine Forest. 
that's some pretty funky music you got there. Uh, let's ignore the Slytherin for now. We're going treasure hunting, viewers. We don't have time for Slytherin. Let's see, some more beef jerky. Uh, how are we doing on HP, by the way? Oh, we're all full up, but we're not full on PP, so I guess I can just go rest at the hot spring. There's some pretty powerful enemies in this area, so I, I do want to kind of make sure I'm at least at max for this. I don't need to walk around in the spring, but it makes me feel like I'm doing something. Uh, well, that's not very descriptive. It's just somewhere around here. Um... Is this it? No, that's the peculiar cheese. Oh, that's not it. Somewhere around here, you can also find a little black speck. If you run into an encounter with it, you'll get into a fight with a uh, black beanling. If you manage to actually defeat it, oh, there it is. Uh, it'll give you a metric fuck ton of experience, like enough to increase your levels for both heroes for like by 10 or 15 even. It's it's ridiculous. The problem is, is that it loves to run away, and it's really, really powerful, so, yeah, it's effectively the game's Metal Slime on steroids. If I get lucky and find one and can kill it, then I will, uh, but to be honest, actually getting your, uh, actually killing one is a little obscene for this point in the game, so I might not. Uh, oh, okay, we got an enemy. Here we go. Let's see. I gotta stop saying that, actually. Down over this way, there's another really flying mouse. There we go. And in here, there should be some baked yam. Let's see. Let's just go north this way. Probably gonna have to fight off the Slitherhand and the Grated Yam Monster. Although, actually, I don't think Grated Yam Monsters can actually move, so if you don't want to fight them, you don't have to fight them. Anyway, uh, no, nothing. Oh, actually, we probably could just stand to use a uh, bread roller. Maybe a big DM on Lucas. Anyway, in here we get a sprinting bomb. And. a bread roll! Let's see. Um. Nah, nah, it's not worth it. There's another rhythm in a box further down that way, but I don't particularly care to go get it, so I'm not too worried about that. <gasps> oh! Shit! 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 Uh, is it gonna come back? There it is! The Black Beanling! Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is start spamming PK Love. Hopefully this guy won't destroy me with PK Fire uh, Beta, but if he does, oh well, it was totally worth it. Aww. Yeah, and like a few weeks ago, I, for some stupid reason, decided to record all of chapters 2 and 3, basically in one sitting. Uh, what? What? Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, play back that image. Uh... What? What? Uh, what? What? I was clearly back attacking the Slitherhen in that instance. I call bullshit game. Seriously, I'm pretty sure I was the one back attacking it, but I guess the game says, fuck you, you don't get to back attack, I get to back attack. Ugh. <sighs> Well, whatever. There's some more treasure you can get in Osohe Castle, if you particularly care to go all that way out all out of your way for it. Uh, but I'll just tell you right now, we're going to be going to Osohe Castle later on anyway, so there's no point in going to collect them yet. I'm just going to go over to my house and rest up for free, and then we'll actually start moving on down the train tracks. I'll meet you where we found Ionia, unless I find something particularly interesting on the way there.
Okay, I'm back at the hot spring where we first uh, got our PSI unlocked by Ionia. Um, while I was on the way here, I sold the chicken and the dolphin obstacles that I had picked up earlier. I bought, uh, no, sorry. I found, I got another thunder bomb from behind Wes's house, and I picked up a bread roll from uh, a, chest, a chest that was behind a squawking stick over in the train tracks a few areas behind. I think that's everything. Thing I did off screen, I can't particularly remember, but in any. Uh, 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 oh. Uh huh. A magic butterfrog. Sounds like a drug. In any case, yeah, I'm over here in the uh, hot spring area of the railway, so. Uh, let's see. We're about halfway through. We still got a little ways to go before we make it to the end of the train tracks, but we should be fine. Ooh, a treasure chest. It's a chest of the magic butterfly inside that we don't need. Mostly because we got our PP recovered by the hot spring, but whatever. Anyway, let's move on. Let's see. No more slither hens and really flying mice. My advice for you for this area is I wouldn't be concerned about using and abusing PK Love, uh, mostly because um, if you get into battles with like more than one enemy, then chances are you're probably going to want to take care of them faster than they can take care of you. And other than that, we don't really have much of a boss fight to worry about in beyond this area, so I wouldn't be too concerned. We've got a mutt shroom here. I'm guessing that's gonna mashroomize someone? Yeah, probably. I think these guys can also give you fleas, which, if I recall correctly, is a status effect that only hits Pony. I can't remember exactly what it does, though. Oh, that's just feeling, yeah, feeling strange. Is there any way to cure that, or am I just stuck like this until it goes away? I can't even see my statuses. Uh, maybe... There we go. Nothing a good old shot of healing alpha can take care of, couldn't take care of. If by, by one, heals one status and an ally has, does that mean it only heals like a single status ailment at a time? No matter what it is? Uh, other than death, obviously, but... I'm assuming that's what it means. Another thing, uh, is that the rambling mushrooms probably won't go down in one shot of PK Love. So you're probably gonna have to hit it after that, too, just to get it to go down. You'll also probably end up picking up a lot of edible mushrooms, so don't be afraid of using them when you need to. They don't heal much anyway, so it's better to use them than to have them just sit there and clutter your inventory. Uh, that stupid mushroom got a crit off on me. And, uh... Confused pony. Whatever you do, don't cast PK Love when you're, uh, feeling strange. It won't end well for you. Please don't write graffiti on signs like hot dog or dog food. Okay. Uh, I was trying to avoid getting into a fight with a really flying mouse, but I guess I'll fight them one at a time. Oh, now you're gonna get it. Uh, I probably shouldn't do it, but whatever. These guys are reconstructed moles. They die easy. They do have a bit more health than you might think, but they still die pretty easy. Ooh, a bread roll. Thank you kindly. I was just uh, getting ready to start eating food. Bony probably needs to eat too. I'll give him an edible mushroom. I'm surprised we haven't encountered a train yet. Okay, I was half expecting a train to just show up right then. Anyway, that down there, that's a cattle snake. They're a little too strong for us right now, so just avoid them. Don't get into a fight with them. 
Ooh, we're starting to feel feverish. Awesome. And just walk around the cattle snakes. Anyway, we got flea powder. That'll cure the flea status ailment that Boney might sometimes get. Uh, we got a field of squawking sticks here. Um, let's fight, like, some. Okay, that's the only one of those I'm gonna fight. We don't have the PP to take on anymore. Not without bad things happening. Oh, part-time work. I could do with a job. I could do with this status wearing off. 2500 DP! What a rip off. Ooh, what'd we get? Offense up alpha. Awesome. One of the uh, buffs in the game. It basically does what you think it does. It raises your attack stat. in handy, really. Let's see, what do you gotta say? Ooh, nice. Uh, that name, though. What does this uh, vending machine have? I think it has just... Oh, well, my inventory's full. Okay. Just stuff. Healing items, curatives, that sort of deal, I guess. Oh, and the item check guy's over here. That's nice. Club Titty Boo's that way, but there's nothing much we can do over there right now. Except, you know, mock the name, I guess. Ooh, some eye drops. Nice. Do I want to do this now? Okay, I think I'm going to do this now. Hey, how's it going? Not sure. I mean, I guess we're investigating rumors of Duster. I, I suppose that's why we're trying to get into Club Titty Boo, but. Okay, well, I guess that did answer my not sure why we're doing this question. Hey, we're not suspicious. We just want to go to the club. I realize we're kids, and with a name like that, that club probably isn't um, what one might call T rated, but. Sure. Let's do some part-time work. All right. Okay, cool. And we get a map. Hmm. Oh, oh my name. Don't know why you need my name, but okay. Dogs have dog things to keep them busy. Oh, poor pupper. Oh. Alright, so basically we're going to be doing a part-time job getting low-energy clay men and bringing them all the way back up here. Move. <laughs> Alright then. Surprised they don't make us have a uniform. Oh man, they're forcing him to run on the machines. Huh. <laughs> and a pig. <laughs> uh. Thank you.
That was awfully triumphant for a part-time job, don't you think? Well, whatever. What do we get? A ticket! And some money! There's some money over here! Oh, okay. Well, let's go then! Party at the club? Anyway, it's right this way. Let's see, there are enemies here, those pig tunia things over there, as well as those uh, bat boons, I think they're called. They're too strong, so don't worry about them. Anyway, we got an area map. This is basically a map of uh, everything north of the railway, essentially. Including some things that we aren't going to be visiting in this particular episode. Or, well, not episode, but chapter, I should say. So, but yeah, this is basically just a sketch of the general area. This ropeway will take us right to Club Titty Boo, which we'll be visiting in the next episode of Let's Play Mother 3. See you guys then!